Today I'm going to be showing you four different ways to use leftover fried rice. Now this one doesn't have vegetables and egg already in it. We're going to be adding them. But the first thing I like to do is pour it in a strainer and go ahead and fill it with some water to let it soak. So this way you can drain off all that excess flavor, sodium and stuff like that. And then we can do what we want with it. Look at all that stuff floating in the bottom. All that color and stuff. That's stuff that you want to drain out. Alright, you can actually tell how oily and stuff this says. Now this is pretty clean and clear still. So I'm going to go ahead and add this back into here. Mix it up. And we're going to cook it in the microwave until this swells up. And it's not that hard rice anymore. It's actually fluffy rice. Alright, you can see how much that fluffed up. I went ahead and added some frozen peas. And we're going to throw this back in which will fluff it up just a little bit more from that moisture from the peas and cook them a little bit before we throw them in our actual recipe. Now that that's all ready and heated up, we're going to add a couple of eggs in and some cheese. So this way we can mix it up, have that protein in there, and the cheese will help bind everything together. Alright, for these two I'm going to be making quesadillas and taquitos. Now the problem I have right now is that the ones that I found that were small Happened to be corn and I didn't pay attention. So they're breaking a little bit. We're just going to have to be gentle with them. But we're going to roll them up like that. And we're going to take a meat press or a grill press and put it on. So when we turn it on, it'll kind of sear that together. Now for the quesadillas, you can do a good measure and add an extra piece of cheese. Even though the egg and the other cheese are binding agents, my kids like cheese and it'll just help the shell stick together better. Alright, I'm going to say these are done. And while these didn't turn out as well as I wanted them to, they actually did hold up pretty well. So if you get the right tortillas, you can probably make that work better. Alright, for this one, I can use the big muffin pan, but considering how much we have left from the other recipes, we're going to go ahead and take some tortillas, though, and you're going to fold them. So this way it makes a cone-type shape, and you're going to shove it down in there. And you're going to fill six muffin pans, with your tortillas like this. It also helps if they're warm. So if you heat them up in the microwave about 15 seconds at a time for two or three cycles, you'll actually be able to get them in there a whole lot easier. Then you just wanna fill it up with your mixture. Then we're gonna take some cheese and we're gonna put it on top like this. Then you can fold over the tortilla and kind of pinch it together. And the ingredients in the tortilla being warm will keep its shape. You kind of want to make like a wonton flour type thing going on. Then we're going to stick that in the oven, 350 for about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how long and how full you have them, until everything's nice and sealed together. These are crispy and the ingredients are cooked. Alright, so if you have a mini omelet maker like I do, and if you don't, you can find one in the description. I will make a small commission if you use that link though. But if you have a small omelet maker, you can take and put your tortillas in there, and the one that I have fits perfectly. So then we just add a little bit of stuff to it, and we fold it over. And then it'll go ahead and cook it, and it's kind of like having half quesadillas or mini tacos or something. Close it up and let that cook. That's a little fuller than this side. And because we have the cheese and the egg in there, it'll be a binding agent and seal itself together. All right, this should be done. It don't take very long, you just want to melt everything together, cook that egg, brown it up some. And there we go. It's definitely sealed together. Alright, so here's our four recipes. Quesadillas, the little taco omelet things, the taquitos, and the muffins. If you like these kind of things, or the recipes I make, YouTube's going to have another video you like right here. And I will see you next time.